All right, moving on to our next fight of the evening. Three rounds in the 130-pound weight division. Ra Sanchez, bout number three, contested at 130 pounds. This is bout number six. And here we go. David Marquez. Calls himself the Death Dealer, and then that's his alter ego. He's a nice guy, easy going, but when it's time to fight, he will turn it on. In comes Ralph Sanchez fighting out of Lakewood, California. Representing hard work, hard work's fitness. He is one and one, Hungbo, in his corner today. Ralph Sanchez coming to take the blue corner of the ring. Bout number six here on Fighters Rep. Fighters Rep brought to you by Ali Optimal Wellness, Fairtex, and the Citizen Athlete Project. This is bout number six here on Fighters Rep number 14, contested at 130 pounds. David Huey here alongside the Don himself, John Aridondo. We have coming up David the Death Dealer, Marquez in the red corner, taking on Ralph Sanchez in the blue corner. Our referee, the man in the center of the ring, Pong San Chorin. As our fighters set, get their final headgear together. Now I'm looking at Ralph Sanchez's headgear. He's got a little bit of a shine going on to that. Little, looks like a little Vaseline rub there. And the fighters are going in right away. David Marquez marching in. Fighters are throwing leather back and forth. Marquez reaching in long, connecting. Sanchez still hasn't found his range yet, but he's able to connect. Push kick by Marquez. Marquez circling out. And a short inside punches with Sanchez. Sanchez comes up short with the hook. Marquez with that leaping jab, scores effectively. That jab fires again. Sanchez leaps with the hook, comes up a little short. And Marquez able to make things work on the long end of his chin kicks. Leg kick for leg kick. Sanchez now starting to find his range. Gets caught in the income. Marquez using that push kick to control the distance. Sanchez's corner calling for that left, left kick, and it works. 
Oh, a push kick to the face by Marquez. And Marquez aiming for the body up and down, swinging nonstop, trying to steal this final round. And that round comes to the end. John, how do you see this first round? Marquez really putting the pressure on. I see him throwing everything he's got, mixing it up, looking real good, looking real sharp. I like it, I like his style. Definitely the crowd is digging that. Well, David Marquez calls himself free flow. His style got in the sport by watching mixed martial arts. When he's not fighting, he's coaching boxing and kickboxing. And the death dealer, he calls himself an easygoing guy, David Marquez, when it's time the fight, it's his alter ego coming in. Davy, death dealer Marquez. Ralph Sanchez fighting out of Hungvo's hard works. Jim, looking very good. He's starting to find his range towards the end. They're asking for that left kick from Ralph Sanchez and apply that pressure. Here we go for round number two. Marquez with the cross, left kick. And Sanchez finding its mark with that leather. Kicks Marquez off balance. Sanchez trying to rally with those hand combinations. The bad thing about Sanchez right now, he's got that shin pad over his feet, under the balls of his feet. So it's causing him to slip. He's not getting good footing on his punches. It's one thing their fighters, their coaches should adjust. And you can see Marquez, he's got that shin pad properly placed underneath his feet, his balls of his feet. Are off, he's able to push off, but a rally by Sanchez on some hands. Looking to change the pace of this fight. But there's no quit in Marquez. Both fighters throwing leather back and forth. It's a strong rally by Sanchez. But Marquez is rallying back. Uh, it doesn't look like Sanchez has a mouthpiece on. I, I can't tell. Doesn't look like it, but it might be Might a be clear. a clear mouthpiece. Yeah, I don't see one. But there's definitely blood yeah, in his mouth. One. He's got a clear one. He's got a clear one? Okay, yeah. good. For the safety of the fighters. That blood makes it look pink, so it looks like his gums. <laughs> but you're right, it didn't look like a mouthpiece. But my concern is right now Sanchez's shin pads, they're covering the balls of feet. He can't get the push off that he needs in this. You're He's kind of slipping, right. slipping on this canvas ring here. You see it over and over. But Sanchez able to kind of rally back and give it 110% only to be met with Marquez to put him back in his place. And this is a rally of leather back and forth. I like that. As we enter the third and final round between David Marquez and Ralph Sanchez. And that leaping hook by Sanchez. Sanchez letting those hands go. Marquez with a strong jab cross combination. He's definitely after the longer of the punches. Comes with a high kick. Push kick by Sanchez. Sanchez leaps with that hook. Marquez with a skip Superman. Marquez with that 
Very, very nice jab. Sanchez gets inside and he's able to unload some leather. Steps right in for that inside leg kick. Both fighters throwing things at the same time. And an exchange of leather for this third and final round. And these punches and kicks are coming from all angles. Marquez effective with that southpaw stance. Comes back to orthodox. And the big, big hands coming in. Sanchez with those strong hooks. And Sanchez corner wants him to apply that pressure. 10 seconds left in this third and final round. And this is Spiders Reps kickboxing at its best. As we just witnessed three rounds of hard hitting kickboxing action between David Marquez out of the red corner, taking on Ralph Sanchez out of the blue corner. It was an exchange of rally, exchange of kicks, and exchange of leather. Hey John, if you had to pick a winner, I'm putting you on the spot. If you had to pick a winner, who would you pick? If I had to, I like the pressure. I like the, the style of Marquez. He may, remained consistent throughout the fight. And there were some uh, technical issues with the gear from Ralph Sanchez that I, I think if they were adjusted, we might have seen a different fight. Well, never there was a great action. I like the stiff, long punches for David Marquez. That long jab, long cross. But Ralph Sanchez, when he got inside, he threw those looping punches and he threw them with a lot of heat. Sure did. Just the volume between these two athletes. They fought 10 rounds in three rounds of action here. That's a fact. And still to come, big boys coming up. George Aquino taking on Kevin Ross. But here we are with Josh Shibata with the official decision. Sanchez takes it on a split decision over David Marquez. And the respect between two athletes who gave it them all. They absolutely did. I think the crowd is shocked by the decision, but you know what? You leave it to the refs and you just, you gotta go with that decision. Well, I like the power. I like the power that Ralph Sanchez threw. And I like the rally. I think he took the second and then stole the third round. David Marquez, definitely a great fighter, and I like to see more of him in the ring. But both fighters gave it their all in this rally. Thank <laughs> you. 
Still to come, fight fans, the big boys of kickboxing. George Aquino taking on Kevin Ross. This is heavyweight action coming up next on Fighters Rep number 14.